What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to go over a day trading recrap. Yeah, might as well be a day trading recrap. Frustrating day guys. Check it out. Alright guys, so uh, just frustrating day for me. Very, very frustrating uh, day. I was, um, I started off my day watching Sava SAVA. And uh, right on this candle here, comes down here to 192 and bounced off really quickly. I put out a bid right there at 9.55. Uh, I was looking for 500 shares there at 9.55. And I was looking for a break of VWAP and, you know, a nice red to green move, maybe a push up to, you know, 11 bucks. I was planning on taking some profit off, obviously, up here in the 1050 area. Uh, so I was looking for 500 shares. I was going to take off half right here, 250 shares. I mean, that was going to give me a dollar a share right there. So that would have been a real nice $250 gainer. And then I was going to hold on to 250, looking to see if we got that push to 11 and beyond. Because if we broke over 11, we had some space to uh, 13. And I'll show you real quick here uh, why I say that. So here we go. Uh, I do use this sometimes. I mean, I still have my trade ideas. I'll show you right here. Come on. See, trade ideas is still here. But I do I do use this website, stockcharts.com, every so often. Uh, just to look at the uh, moving averages a little bit easier. And also to bust out a weekly, uh, sometimes a little bit easier as well. So I, I brought this out. I looked at the weekly and I saw a break. You know, $11 was resistance here and the 200 day. And $11 was resistance here uh, last week, Friday. So I thought if we broke through that, we had a clear run to at least $12, $13 up here. Okay. So that was my plan. And at least 50% of my plan would have executed perfectly. But I never got a fill because, well, I mean, it's not E-Trade's fault or anything like that. The stock just, it hit that low of 192, took it right back, and then it just started 10, 10.05, 10.10, 10.12, 10.05. wouldn't give me another little dip down here to 9.55 where I was bidding. So that already got under my skin there. Uh, nonetheless, I mean, the trade would have failed, however... I still would have made $200, $300 on the trade, uh, even though it was a failed trade. So then we had CTIB. CTIB was making a very big run. Like this is it right at the open. It held this dollar, it gapped up, held this dollar, and then pushed. Now CTIB didn't have any fresh news today, but it did have some news two days ago uh, regarding something about some their directors. Um, I didn't read into it too much just because I saw it was two day old news and I was just watching the chart. Now it halted up here at 183. It opened up and held that halt price and just pushed to 225 beast move, pulled it back in. Okay. And tested it and then launched right off of it onto new highs up here to 239. So that was a real nice move right here. I mean, anyone could have gotten long in either of these two candles here in front of this halt price and banked real nice because look at that push up over three dollars now my trade on it was on this pullback on this pullback here i got long uh, about 100 shares here and i added and added and added throughout right at various prices and then i added on the break over this 320 uh, pivot area right here i added on it and when this candle here at 350 didn't just break through and go straight to four bucks i got flat Okay, I got flat, so I sold um, just about 100 shares up here in the 350s or 340s, uh, and then I got flat the rest, uh, sorry, 250 shares, I, and then I got flat the rest as we pulled it back in here, and those are break even, okay? Now, I could have sold my whole position up here and booked a real nice 200 and something dollar day, but I was really holding on to the bulk, which was I had 550 shares left looking for that push up to three bucks. I'm uh, sorry, four bucks. I mean, I was in here, I got 305 and stuff like that, right? And what I had left were 320s. So I thought that that would have been a monster move. Um, heck, that would have been a nice five, six, almost $700 winner if we broke through $4. But 
I held on to that bulk and I put a stop at break even and that's what happened. So then when we had this action here, I just, I wanted to throw my mouse across the room because you can see here that it, it did it. It broke $4 and I would have taken profits off there at least on, I mean, I have 550 shares. I would have taken 400 shares off easily up there. Okay. Um, but then it took it all back. However, when it took it all back, it did not real nice bounce off of VWAP. So I was already up on the day like 80 bucks and I decided to get long in here, right? Because I thought we had all these shorts that were still trapped and we're making these higher lows. Volume isn't terrible. We're holding the 90 MA. Okay. We're holding this 350 area. So I got long right in there. 350 stop at 335. And I thought we might get the squeeze this time and really go. And then we don't, we break underneath here. I get stopped out. And ever since then, it's really just faded out. And I do have this trade live recorded for you. So I'll show it to you now. Uh, but you know, I, what I made here, I lost here. So I'm basically flat on the day, which is really disappointing. Really, really disappointing, especially since I missed two good trades. Uh, I missed two good trades. So I'm not really happy right now with myself on the new year. I am not happy at all. And I'm looking to come into tomorrow laser focused, laser focused. And if we get an opportunity, I fully expect myself to fully capitalize on it. Like I know I'm being extremely hard on myself, but this is how I have, this is how I have to do it. This is how I have to push myself. Otherwise, I'm not going to get where I want to be. Simple as that. It's really that simple. So you see here, I'm already, I already have 300 shares. Uh, my cost basis is 309. Real nice, real nice cost basis. VWAP is my, my line in the sand. And I'm looking to add as we break over these pivots in the 320s. We start to break. Volume is increasing. Okay, I see a lot of green coming up on the tape. I add 329. So I added twice. And now I'm looking to see if we're going to push, right? I want to take off some up here, which I do. And then I want to take off the rest over $4. I mean, solid plan. That's a good trade. It's a very clean setup. Real nice decrease volume on this real nice, easy pullback. Uh, increase in volume as we start to push. But I don't know. We just don't get the move. There we go. We get that little nice pop right there. I mean, honestly, I really should have just taken it off right there. At least half of it instead of just the little piece I take off. So I take off some right here, watch. I sell 250 shares there at, there's at 342. You can see it right here, 342. And then we get that action. And when we get that action right there, you see that just the candle takes it all back. I stop out. I just stop out right there. Basically, I break even 327 exit right. See, you see right there. And my cost basis was 326. So it sucks. I stop out fully break even on those 550 shares. Only to have the stock make that move right there. You know how frustrating that is? I mean, look. If I would have gotten even from 390s off there, okay, let's say I would have sold 400 shares at 390 from 326 to 64 cents a share, I would have taken off 400 shares there. That's 256 bucks plus the 88 or so that I already had would have been over a $300 trade. If I would have gotten this action here where honestly it was expected or if it at least would have consolidated a little bit higher and then gone. I don't know, you know, maybe I just stopped out too, too, too conservative there on the last piece because I, I, I hate, you know, when the trade triggers and I take some profit off, I hate losing on the remaining shares to the point where it puts me at break even or even worse yet red, even though it'll be less red, obviously. But I just feel like if the trade triggers for me and it goes and I pay myself, then the remaining shares, I need to have a tighter stop on. Generally, generally, that's how I feel. I don't always do it. Maybe I, I don't know. I, maybe it's something I got to work on. Maybe it's something I got to work on. And I really got to think about. Um, nonetheless, I feel like it just got very choppy there. And I mean, I guess it, the evidence is there that it's choppy as it breaks $4 and it just takes it all right back. 
right? It takes it all right back. So, you know, the, like the 80 bucks I made here, okay, um, I lost right here. I lost right there. So that's it, guys. I mean, that's it. I'm sorry. The video is a little bit uh, uh, gloomy today. It's just... I, when I do these videos, it's me. What you see is me. When I'm happy, I'm happy. When I'm not happy, when I, I'm not happy. When I'm really disappointed in my trading, I'm, I'm very disappointed in my trading. Uh, I try not to post up anything that's like fictitious. What you see is what's happened. And what the feelings you see coming in, you know, in the screen that I'm portraying, that you hear my tone of voice uh, with the lack of smiles. Like, you know, I'm always smiling and happy. Um, it's, it's just the truth. It is what it is. I am looking tomorrow to come in laser, absolute laser focused. If the opportunity presents itself, I fully expect myself to execute properly. If it doesn't present itself, then I fully expect, expect myself to sit on my hands, right? And uh, the year just started, plenty of weeks left of trading. So I'm not going to let it get myself too down. But for now, that's it. You know, I am working on a couple of other videos, guys. Uh, another video is coming out here pretty soon talking about how uh, the prerequisite courses in colleges are kind of scammy. So if you want to know about that and the options that are available that actually make you a lot more money than some miscellaneous uh, diploma from a college, then you'll want to hit the notification bell if you've already subscribed so that you can know when that video drops. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button for me right now. That way you're alerted as well when the video drops. I'm also gonna be working on uh, another chart pattern uh, video and uh, a real estate video, right? Cause I'm working currently on a real estate deal and I am recording the process as, it go, as we go through it. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna house hack a property uh, we just purchased in the Florida of the Keys actually, where I'm gonna basically have a summer house, basically almost for free. So if you wanna know how to house hack, definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the notification bell. I hope you're having a better start to the year than I am. I'll catch you on the next one.